no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans Here's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net Coming to you today from London, England Most of us, at the heart of it all are looking simply to gain happiness out of life, right? Now, some people might argue, no, life is about adventure, or life is about dunking your head in a bucket of tiramisu and eating your way out, or life is about getting out of a hot shower and gently pressing your crotch against the cold porcelain of the bathroom sink. But in each of those cases, you do those things because they bring you happiness, and that's why you seek them out. So we all want happiness. We build societies that are supposed to help you pursue happiness. And yet, at least 21 million people are depressed each year in the United States, and that number nearly doubles if you include anxiety. And there are similar numbers in many other countries. But one country, Bhutan, has taken an unusual step to achieve happiness for their people. They've forced everyone to wear t-shirts that have a photo of Tom Hanks with a baby deer on them because everybody loves those two things. No, I made that up. What they've actually done is switched from measuring their country by gross domestic product to instead measuring gross domestic happiness. And it makes sense. If a country's wealth is low but everyone is living la vida loca, then it doesn't matter how much money they have. On the other hand, if a country is rich, but everyone is quietly praying a meteor lands on their head just to end it all, then what good is all the money? And it's worked. Bhutan is now one of the top 10 happiest countries, and it's the only poor country in the top 10. They did it. They did it. They cracked the code. Someone has cracked the code to happy society. This is huge news. Jesus Christ, everybody grab a shovel and start shaping the world like Bhutan. Gross domestic happiness. Here we come, right? Right? Who's, who's coming with me? Right? No, no, we're not, we're not, we're not doing this. And this is when we see the dark secret of America and many other countries. They're not set up to make sure people are happy. They're set up to make sure everyone is consuming and working, buying and slogging away at jobs we hate so that we can afford the products that will take our minds off the jobs we hate. Day in and day out. And I realize not everyone hates their job, but a load do. And the heads at the top of our society have set it up to enslave most people in a life of debt, a life of indentured servitude, in order to enrich a handful of individuals to a point that would make a pharaoh blush. The depression rate in the U.S. could grow to 80% and it wouldn't matter as long as the people keep working and buying and the top gets richer. However, I don't want to act like this is all bad news. If the depression rate did grow that high, I bet the government would give us a coupon for a handful of Zoloft and a free t-shirt of Tom Hanks with a baby deer. So let's work on making our gross domestic happiness as low as possible because I don't know about you, but I want that t-shirt. That's your Moment of Clarity from LeeCamp.net. On yesterday's Moment of Clarity podcast, I talked with B. Dolan, the rapper and activist behind the hit song, Film the Police. Check it out on iTunes, Stitcher, the Android app, or LeeCamp.net. Thanks. Keep fighting. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.